So how do you solve fast moving cloth in Houdini using vellum? So for example, if you have a superhero, Superman with a cape just flying across the screen, if he's really traversing through space, how is that cloth gonna stay on his body and not completely fall off or rip or break your sim? So here's a little example scene I made with the Capybara asset. Now he's flying across and his shirt is just completely falling off of him. And this is with one substep. So if you check the side effects website, there's a documentation for this. So quick moving cloth in 20.5. So for example, uh, there's velocity blending. That's one option. That's a node that you could add with your vellum solver. For example, if a character is wearing a bracelet and swinging its arm, you'd want the bracelet to stay relatively in the same place. So in the following video, the character on the right has velocity blending turned on. You could see that his clothing doesn't build up energy like it does for the character on the left. So for example, this one has the velocity blending on, this one doesn't. So you can see this one generally has more movement. So we would probably want this version on the right with velocity blending on. So that's for a fighting scene, for example, but if you have a Superman, for example, what should we use? So that would be this option, reference frame. For example, a cape on a superhero that you want to apply a wind force to, it allows you to work in a different space than the actual world space, while all the collisions still take place in the larger space. So the vellum reference frame node ties the points in the vellum object to a reference frame that is defined by the animated geometry. It is similar to velocity blending, but it works globally instead of on a specific part of the character. So I have some more examples. Uh, so another option that you could do is really just crank up the sub steps. So that would be right here on the solver. For example, it was at one, you could just keep cranking it up. But the problem is the more you increase this, the longer the simulation time takes. And it doesn't necessarily promise that it'll solve your issues with the geometry. But usually a combination of this and reference frame or Velocity blending would work. So that was one sub step. Let's see what two sub steps look without any settings, just turning up the sub steps. So this one's still breaking. So then we cranked all the way up to four sub steps. looking more controlled, but you can see we still have the stretching issue. So it's stretching around here. So from there we could, for example, do a vellum constraint attached to geometry. So vellum constraint attached to geometry, and then you could make a specific group. For In this example, I just did the hood. And then you'd connect that to your object merge, which is your character. And then you could, for example, increase the stiffness if you want it to be really controlled to the body. So this is what that looks like. Hood is attached to the body. The shirt is on there pretty good, but it's still stretching when he's really flying through there. So we still need to add more things. So then let's add the vellum rest frame with this hood on the attach. Now it's looking really good, but now it's we have a different issue now before it was moving too much now it's not moving enough as you could see it looks pretty static he's just 
flying across it and we don't see any motion on his cape or his shirt. So another thing to note with the vellum wrist frame, if you set your sub steps here, for example, this needs to match your solver. So I set this to four because my vellum solver is four. So then this one is the uses the vellum rest frame, the hood is on attached, and wind is on. So that's the next step. So if we look at this, now I have some wind flying through here, but the shirt is actually attached as the previous version to the body. So now we could just art direct how we want this look to behave with wind. So if we want less wind or more wind, we could change that, but it's at least controllable now instead of just up to the simulation. So maybe we're happy with that result. So if we look at it, you could use wind right here on forces, built-in wind, uh, but I didn't do that. Instead, if you dive inside, you could just add a pop force and then attach that to your input one and then attach it to force and then you could add a force and you could adjust the amplitude and then this has different noise settings you could change i just left it as the default and just increase the amplitude and set the direction so if you did want to do the the other method, which is the velocity blend, what you do is you'd create a volume attached node. And then for stiffness, since we don't actually want that, we just want the velocity, you could actually set this to zero. And then on velocity blend, this would be unchecked by default. You could just check that. On the third input, you'd connect that to your object merge. But before that, you could drop down a point velocity. And then you could simulate everything. And in this scene, for example, I could turn this back on, but the result actually looked pretty similar. So this is, this is with vellum attach, velocity blend, and the vellum rest frame on. Which is similar result of point velocity or velocity blending off but maybe if he was tossing and turning left and right and maybe spinning maybe the velocity blending would have helped us so with that said that's quick moving cloth and houdini 20.5